What do you remember about that day? We were actually, we had just got kicked out or beaten the regionals and we were flying back and the draft started about 10 minutes before our plane took off. And so we were actually in the air flying back to Ohio and I was drafted at that point in time so like we had no clue and, and uh, once we started coming down everybody was like turning their phones on looking it up and one of my teammates uh, looked over gave me a thumbs up and said congrats. Dylan Bunny and I had a draft party together and he went fourth and so I was kind of just sitting there waiting I didn't know how long I was going to sit there um, and then right before I got picked my agent ran in the room and kind of tapped my dad on the leg and so I knew something was going to happen in the next couple picks, and then... You didn't have to wait too long. No, no, not at all. And then at the time, you know, seeing Commissioner Seeley go out and then say my name, and it just kind of hit me that, uh, you know, I was just a top 10 pick out of high school, and my life was really about to change forever. Yeah, I knew the draft was going on, but I wasn't, like, following it pick by pick, and you know, I was just at my house, and Dimebacks called and said, hey, we're thinking of drafting you. Um, I was like, all right, hopefully you do, and... Um, then I just waited, and I think a couple minutes later, my parents said, you know, they were listening to it, and they were like, hey, Dimebacks drafted you, congrats. And honestly, I don't really remember that much after that. I think they called back and said, you know, hey, congrats, and, you know, whatever, we'll send the paperwork over soon. And I signed two or three days later and flew out to Arizona. Still up at school, uh, getting ready for finals. Um, and me and some buddies were just kind of had, it wasn't on TV, so we were just watching on the computer. Um, and I got a call. Uh, I got a call. I got drafted in the third round by the Cardinals, and uh, you know there wasn't much final studying going on the rest of that day. Yeah, I think the coolest thing was just every coach, teammate, teacher, family friend that had kind of had a hand in, in helping raise our coach Dylan and I was there. We had 200 plus people at this draft party, a big hotel ballroom, and for both of us to get drafted so high, and then Adrian Hauser, same thing, to get drafted that same day. All three of us growing up together to go in the top two rounds was pretty special for us.